Hi guys, uh, today I'll be solving a compass error question, but I will be using the amplitude method to do so. And the celestial body will be sun as an example. All right, so let's start with the question. The question says it's 23rd of September 1992 and the sun was rising. It rose bearing, sun was rising. So I will write rising here, bearing 094 degrees compass. So the compass bearing of the sun is given to you. Your DR position or your date reckoning position was 0 degrees latitude that is equator and 120 degrees 27 minutes west was your longitude. Your chronometer shine showed 0, 01 hours 54 minutes 0 seconds. If chronometer error was 3 minutes 12 seconds fast and variation was 2.7 degrees west, you have to find the deviation. Now you have to use the amplitude method not the azimuth method. So let's solve the ambiguity of the chronometer time first. You have to find out what is your correct GMT time. So your chronometer time given to you is 1 hours 54 minutes 0 seconds. That could mean 1 hour in the morning or 1 in the afternoon. So you just add 12 hours to the hours here and give it another possibility. So it could be 154.00 or 13.54.00. Apply your error. Your error is 3 minutes 12 seconds and it's fast. Whenever the error is fast, you will subtract it. So subtract the same error in both the cases. So you get two possibilities of the GMT time. 1 hour 50 minutes 48 seconds and 13 hours 50 minutes 48 seconds. So how do you find out which is the correct GMT? So for that you have to find out your local mean time or your LMT. So do that you apply your longitude in time correction LIT which you get by dividing longitude by 15. Your longitude is 120 degrees 27 minutes divided by 15 and you will get 8 hours 0, 01 minutes 48 seconds. Whenever your longitude is west, subtract it from the GMT to get your LMT. Longitude west, GMT is the best. That means GMT is more than the LMT. All right. So again, you get two cases of the local mean time. One is 17 hours 49 minutes 0 seconds and the other is 5 hours 49 minutes 0 seconds. So how do I know which is the correct LMT? Well, the hint is given to me in the question itself that the sun was rising. Uh, locally, if the sun is rising, the local mean time on my ship has to be the morning time. It cannot be rising at 1700 hours in the evening. So this becomes the wrong possibility. So if this is the correct GM LMT, my date is 23rd of September here. And then this date is also 23rd of September. In this case, it's the same day. It's just 8 hours behind from 1300 hours. So my correct GMT will be 23rd of September. 13 hours 15 minutes 48 seconds now in this point of time just make a note that do not use the LMT time you have to use a GMT time LMT time is calculated only to find out or determine which is the correct GMT time find out the correct GMT time and then use the GMT time for the rest of the question all right don't use the LMT time like some students do so if the GMT time is 23rd of September 13 hours 15 minutes 48 seconds I only needed this time to find my declination and for 23rd September 13 hours okay so let's go into 23rd of September nautical almanac uh, 23rd is somewhere here all right so 23rd is somewhere here let me erase the rest of the stuff so that you guys don't get confused so 23rd of September is somewhere here this is the date on top this is the Sun so my GMT, my correct uh, GMT, the time I need it for is 1300 hours, right? 1300, this is 1300 hours. So my declination for the sun will be somewhere around here. 0 degrees 17.8 minutes south. My D value is 1. And my declination is increasing by the next star. So these are the some of the things I note down. So I note down my D value of 1. I got my declination value. And then I will go into the increments page for 50 minutes and 48 seconds. Because this declination value is for 1300 hours, the correction value will be for 50 minutes and 48 seconds from the increments page so that I can get the corrected declination for 13 hours, 50 minutes and 48 seconds, which is my required GMT time. So I'll go into the increments page for 50 minutes and 48 seconds. Uh, 50 minutes and 48 seconds will be somewhere here. So my D value is 1. So this is 50 minutes, my D value is 1 and my D correction value will be 0 0.8. Alright, so I go back, I apply this 0 0.8 correction. I've got my D correction as 0 0.8 which I will add because my declination value was increasing as I went from 1300 hours to 1400 hours. 
so I get my declination corrected as 0 degrees 18.6 minutes south. Then I simply have to put it in the formula here. Sine amplitude equals sine of declination divided by cos of latitude. Sine of declination is the correct declination I calculated. The latitude is of course given to me in the question as 0, which is the equator. So I get my sine amplitude equals 0 0.00541. So I take sine here and sine inverse it becomes of this value gives me my amplitude value of 0 0.3 at this point i have to name my amplitude now here is the tricky part you want to remember okay this is the tricky part so you will name it first whether it's rising or setting if it's rising it's east if it was setting you would have named it west and this part is comes from the declination so your declination is south so you'll name it south so it will be east 0 0.3 south so what does that mean that means if this is north this is east and this is south then 0 0.3 south means from the east going down 0 0.3 so if this is 0 0.90 0 0.3 would be 0 0.90.3 and that's why your true bearing is 0 0.90.3 all right so this is the tricky part how you name it you first name it based on whether it's rising or setting and then secondly you name it as per the declination then the compass bearing given to you in the question is 094 degrees so 094 minus 090.3 will give you the compass error again the compass is more so your error will be west if the compass is best error is west so 3.7 degrees west your variation is 2.7 degrees west divide the difference between not divide sorry difference between the two will give you the deviation as one degree west and let me show you conceptually what this means so your true bearing is 0 090.3 right your compass bearing was 0 0.94 degrees so this total angle is your compasser which is 3.7 degrees west compass is lying on the west if i'll change the color now then your magnetic is your variation is 2.7 degrees west so the magnetic your variation is the angle between the true and the magnetic where your magnetic is lying on the 2.7 so this angle here is 2.7 degrees west therefore your deviation which is the angle between the compass and the magnetic where you see where the compass is lying compass is lying to the west of magnetic this angle becomes 3.7 minus 2.7 which is 1 degree west all right so understand it conceptually as well so whenever you calculate compass errors make sure you also find out the value conceptually find out the angle between the values all right so i hope this question was uh, useful for you to learn how to find the compass error using the amplitude method especially when the sun is the celestial body let me know what you thought about this video guys i'll see you soon with my next video bye